So I have for you a 4th of July Dollar Tree DIYs. back to the channel if you're not familiar with the channel you already know i have all this mess behind me i still have not done this so don't pay attention to it we are getting ready to um build the wall in here and i am super super excited it's just going to be like a wall just to cover up this area and then it's kind of separate the kids room from my office in here so anyways today i have for you um a few DIYs um, for 4th of July and I think y'all really like them and enjoy them um, they're pretty simple um, one of the DIYs is extremely kid friendly so kids can definitely do this one it doesn't require any glue it doesn't require any of that and my children absolutely thought it was the best thing they ever saw in their life um, so I'm going to begin with the DIYs so for this first DIY, I took rice and dyed it red and blue and left the other one white and then just filled up this glass jar with it. Um, you can get glass jars at Dollar Tree, but this is one I already had on hand to save me on cost. I took some of the flowers from a Dollar Tree that come in like a 4th of July bundle and added it to that. I only cut three of the flowers off and adding it to it. I then took the foam scatters and put them on the kebab stick, sticks Excuse me, using some of the longs and some of the shorts and cutting them off just to make them look really pretty and decorative. And this is how it turned out. So for this next DIY, I took one of the Willow, uh, I guess it's like a more of a larger size one that they have. And I had took some of Dollar Tree's 4th of July Star Garland, as you can see, and already wrapped it around. And then I'm taking some of the 4th of July Star Lights and wrapping it around it also just to give it a little color. And I kept taking the lights and tucking it in between the garland because I thought that would like help hold it on which it did to be honest. I decided to take this 4th of July sign. I'm going to insert a picture of what the sign looked like. It had like three little different signs connected all together in one. Um, so I decided to take the jute twine and hot glue it to the back across like I did. Don't do this. If you're going to do this, actually hook it in the middle because it kept turning weird ways. So learn from my mistake. So then I decided to take the battery pack and hot glue it to the side of this. Definitely learn from a mistake. Don't do that either because it puts too much weight and then it's like falling off. So you need to basically hot glue it towards the bottom, not the side, which is what I did. So then I had a piece of scrapped bow left over. Uh, bow, Lord Jesus. A uh, piece of scrapped ribbon left over. So then I took it and folded it and just... Uh, cut the ends and then made like a simple bow and so this is how it turned out I absolutely love it and think it turned out really really good this actually cost me less than three dollars to make I wanted to show you how it will look with the lights on and off so for this DIY, you're going to need one toilet paper roll. You're going to take it and measure it out to have four equal parts. They're going to become like little rings. After you have your little rings, you're going to take the leftover garland that you have and wrap it around the... Um, the outer part of it, then hot glue it in the middle. In the middle of that, you're gonna take the leftover scatter foam pieces that you had and glue it in the middle to make it into a napkin ring. This is how it turned out. So for this next DIY, I took some mason jars that I already had and painted them white. I'm going to be making these into beautiful flower arrangements and I just decided to take these and paint them white. Using painter tape, I taped off the part that 
um, to make it look like these stripes from the flag and painted both of these red. I set them to the side and let them dry. So for the next one to make it three and make it kind of even how I think I decided um, I made a mistake at first and painted it blue by putting the stars to make it look clear. It didn't work out. So then I went back and painted it white and then took and kind of just took painter's tape and made my own little stars. I drawed them out myself and then just cut them out and stuck them to the mason jar. And then I took blue paint and put the blue paint over it just to make it um, look like similar to the stripe ones that I had. So this is the next day. After these completely dried, I took the painter's tape off of these, um, all three of them, and then I took white paint and went over and kind of touched up any extra just to make it look more clean. Um, I then began filling them up with the rice that was left over from the previous DIY. I also used the three extra flowers that come from that same patriotic bundle. Um, I also used mason jars that I already had at home. I didn't go buy any extra, but you can get glass jars from Dollar Tree as well. This is how these turned out. So for this next DIY, you're gonna need two paper towel holders. I began by taking the two cones and figuring out some kind of shape. I cut it out and then hot glued them together and got this little cone kind of shape. I don't really know how to tell you to make it to be honest because it was just like a, I rolled up the paper, figured it out how it looked good and cut it up and literally just hot glued it and voila, I had the round shapes. I took the paper towel holders and went ahead and painted them red and let them dry. After they were done drying, I decided to take some of that garland that I had left over from previous projects and just wrapping it around, hot gluing a spot at the top to hold it together and then wrapping it all the way around and hot gluing it at the bottom. So I lost the footage for this, but I took two dots of hot glue and hot glued the cone onto the paper towel holder. I then took some of Dollar Tree's nautical rope and just um, hot glued it around the tops of the cone and the paper towel holder, making sure that the glue is in the back. This is how they turned out. I also took some of those scatter foams and put them on some more kebab sticks, cut them down and put them in the back of the truck. I will link that DIY down below. All right, so this video took me two days to record. Anyways, I finally have five uh, DIYs that you could do at home using the things that I have here and for me this only costs me less than six dollars to make with the things that I already had at home to make all five of these DIYs so it shouldn't have cost you more than fifteen dollars to make all five of these DIYs which is super cheap that's like three dollars a DIY that's with buying all the jars the rice the um sticks and everything so with that being said thanks so much and y'all have a great day bye